This year marks a historical 150th sesquicentennial celebration of the founding of Howard University. This annual opening convocation that officially kicked off the school year was met with opposing views because former FBI James Comey was this year's keynote speaker. As far as him being a speaker, I think it was a good idea um, because you'll we'll see the interaction we're going to have on our campus. And honestly, could care less about his history with the budget I think he should be able to speak here uh, no matter the circumstances. Achievement. That's a natural. And more than that, today. the students, who collectively go by the name H.E. Resist, reasoning for protesting was unclear for many people. There was an immediate release statement which stated their cause for disapproving Comey's presence on campus. It reads, James Comey represents an institution diametrically opposed to the interests of black people domestically and abroad. While his tenure at the FBI has finished, his impact on our community remains. I do agree with their right to protest. I do agree with the background of their protest, you know, I, but the way in which they went about it at a university in the setting, um, it just was not, was not, to say the least, it was safe. They could have protested, but they could have also let us speak. Because um, it was a lot, it was hard for a lot of people to hear. Although there were students strongly against Comey's presence on campus, other students began to counter protests, still desiring to hear him speak. I agree with students being able to express their their, their views and their uh, uh, organizing to, to make known and to interrupt the uh, session. Not only has this been a historical commemoration, but it has also been an eventful one. For Spotlight Network, I'm Camila Tom.